Geil. Hello, wet Godzilla. You've got Randy. Hey there, Randy. Was wondering what happens when you see a gray. Well, it really comes down to whether or not the gray is uh, hostile or not. Um, if you've got you a friendly variant, the most they'll probably do is try to jot down on their alien in their alien database uh, about you. But um, the more hostile type will probably, you know, they could do any number of things. They could experiment on you. They probably rob you. I've seen. I've heard tale of an alien stealing from someone. Good question, and thank you for it. But I got a probe last week. Probe. They gotta be real, brother. You know, I envy you. I uh, I got a buddy who's said talk of uh, of, of a probe. Any idea what they were testing for? Do you happen to in oh, any overhear any of their uh, alien speak? Something about clogged up. Um, what Godzilla? Was this by chance, uh, like maybe a doctor doing maybe a some sort of test on your butt? That might not have been a gray at all. Your carbon monoxide levels at home, uh, are they all normal? It was in a room, no doubt. Hard to tell what they looked like. It was a 3 p.m. appointment. You know, I think you might just have gone to the doctor. Uh, wet Godzilla, I do appreciate, uh, the call-in, and, uh, I wish you luck with your butt. You know, it could have been a gray. We, we, I guess we can't rule that out, but it, all signs are pointing towards, uh, some sort of prostate Thanks or... for having me, Randy Bo Bandy. Have a good evening, Godzilla. Thank you for calling. Callers? Feel free to ask any cryptid-related question, and I'll do my best to answer. I've got a whole database of knowledge on cryptids right up here. Looks like we've got one now. Stella Hoshi, you've got Randy. Hi, Randy! Well, hey, Stella, how you doing on this pleasant, uh, night? I'm just Sandy, Randy! Well, that's... Well, Stella, that's... Well, uh... Any questions you want to ask? <laughs> yeah, do you think that aliens are all on Mars or, like, farther out there? While there are a, a, a variant on Mars, on the planet itself, uh, greys extend, you know, all different types all throughout the universe. Um, they're not just localized to Mars. They can be pretty much anywhere, except for maybe sun, the sun. I don't reckon they'd be able to. Well, maybe a maybe a really resilient alien could survive the sun. There might be aliens on the sun, folks. Yeah, Zorblon Three is a planet that's uh, got record high temperatures. I think it's a. Uh, I think, couple, couple hundred, degrees. On there, average temp. So yeah, to answer your question, Grays, they're all throughout the universe, and if. Are Martian Grays red? Those are green. Martian reds are green. Red Martian grays are... Martian grays are red. Martian greens... We call them greens. They're green. Okay, satellites are rotating. We're getting a signal here. Alright. We're good. God, guys, sorry. It's 4 a.m. I'm just... My eyes are starting to die on me. Alright, we'll see what we've got here in a minute. Oh, we've got another caller. Another great question in the works here. We've got the blue hat. Hello. Alex on the line. How you doing this evening? Real dark out. Can't even see my... I would like to talk about the Hat Man. The Hat Man. Now that's a name I haven't thought about in quite a long time. And in fact, I He's wish... He's in my corner every day from 6 p.m. to 2 a.m. I would advise you don't make eye contact with the guy. Um... He will not leave. I asked him to leave several times, and I felt my soul leave my body every don't time. Don't communicate with him. Do not communicate. The strategy here is you're going to want to... Try not to make eye contact. Try not to seem scared, because he'll feed off that. And, uh, you know, if you've got a gift basket you can make, leave it out at the foot of your bed. I think that I think he would eat that right up. But I am making eye contact with him right now. Then it's already too late. And as much as I would like to tell you to have a pleasant evening, I don't think you will. I am fine. I hope you make it through the night. All, all the viewers are praying for you. They're all bowing their heads at the moment. Everyone at home, Put could the you? the hat man in the eyes. 
as I want you to say a silent prayer for uh, Blue Hat, who's probably not, they're probably going to be ripped to shreds by the Hat Man tonight. Look the Hat Man in the eyes. Do not listen to the lies. Helpful advice for anyone out there who might uh, come in contact with the Hat Man. Don't look him in the eyes. You know, God rest their soul. That The poor uh, individual who will be um, probably murdered tonight by the Hat Man. Oh, got a new caller on the line. On a positive note, let's see who we've got here. Oceanic, you've got Randy. This thing's detecting so slow. Wait, what is that? That's like triangular shape. Do you see this? Randy, is there anything you're afraid about in the big universe? Ah, <sighs> plenty. There is actually plenty. For one, aliens. Uh, pretty much any sort of alien, I'm terrified. I can't even look at our old buddy over here without getting too freaked out. And you know, as much as I'm cu I'm morbidly curious about the guys up in space, the little the little dudes, because all it takes is one little pull of the trigger and their ray gun will blast. This like a stressful career choice for you. Well, what are we, you my therapist here? Come on! I'm allowed to be interested in whatever I'm allowed to be interested in, okay? What are you scared of, Oceanic? You know, I've heard tail- Bigfoot. Oh yeah, that's a big one. You know, I, uh, I've got a buddy who was ripped limb from limb, uh, by Bigfoot. Uh, he didn't die. But Metallica did write a song about him. You know, he's one of the more violent, uh, ones. You can go out in the woods, I hear him out there. I'm pretty sure I've got a Bigfoot on my property. I've got 200 acres. I hear sometimes I'll hear a log slamming into the side of a tree. And, uh, that's a warning call what from Bigfoot. Sound like? I haven't heard him himself, I just hear him banging on shit. I think it's some sort of music ritual he's trying to cast. In they fact, say he has a putrid odor. Oh, I've heard. Oh, trust me, I've heard. I, you know, I can't see Bigfoot, but I smell the odor everywhere I go. Every single place that I go, I smell this horrible odor. Even just places I've never been before. It's just this terrible odor that follows everywhere. me everywhere. Everywhere. I smell it right now. It's like all over me, this terrible stink. And I think Bigfoot's done it. I think he's, uh, I think when I'm not paying attention, he blasts me with sort of like a skunk. Randy, is it possible Bigfoot is right behind you? Oh, Zianic, don't be ridiculous. Bigfoot, he lives in the woods. I'm inside a building right now. Um, and don't try to scare me like that ever again. I'll block this number. Just checking. I mean, yeah, you know, it's it's always healthy to... to be, uh, questioning everything, you know? Always be questioning. That's what I say. Well, I've said that before. Well, I read it in a book. Oceanic, thank you for calling. It's always great to hear your insight, Randy. And it's always great to hear myself talk. Thank you, Oceanic. Guys, we've got ourselves here. An object of some sort up in up in space. Um, let me try to refine it real quick. One minute. One minute, one minute. Let's see what we've got here. Alright, guys, we've got the polarity set to 100 percent That's going to further refine this signal. Frequency filter. Let's start screwing with that. See if we can't find a good frequency. I'm fine. Folks, those audio listeners, you might have just heard me eat shit just now and, and bust my ass. Um, I've got narcolepsy. I just can't stay up. Oh, a perfect 100% signal. <gasps> I think I was just abducted. I have no memory of the past five minutes. What happened? Uh, memory, I've got visions of little green, little green men. Folks, if you're listening, if we're still live, I think I might have just made contact. We're gonna sleep for the night and then, uh, we will continue. Oh my god, that scared me, dude. Ah, I gotta face this guy like the opposite way. This guy's gonna f me up. 
Thought a little gray was standing there looking at me. <sighs> you've got Randy. Oh, it's Charbroke 8 Kraken in VR chat. Hey, you've got me at kind of a bad time. I was just about to go to bed. Uh, it's getting pretty late for me. It's 1422, which if you do the math, really. I just wanted to bring up a cryptid from my home. Oh. The okay. Spectre Moose. The Spectre Moose. Can you describe it? This is uh, unfamiliar to me. I don't think I've heard of the Spectre Moose. I'm all ears. You've got my full a attention. A giant 15 foot white moose. Interesting, interesting. And you've seen this critter? Or you've heard tale it of it. Roams the forest. I would try to get a picture of this thing and then email it to me so I can put it on my blog and get a couple clicks. It is ghostly. <sighs> well, uh Charbrogate Kraken in VR chat. That's an interesting name by the way. Where'd you where'd you come up with that? Uh it seems completely A haunting sight. Yeah, that does sound like a pretty freaky, uh pretty freaky thing to see, you know? I'm really sorry you had to go through that, but I actually am kind it's of simply the truth. I'm kind of happy you did go through it because now we've got this story and all the viewers out there are, uh, they're eating it up. I think, uh, they'd be happy to hear that you've seen this creature. Thank you for your call. I gotta get to bed. I'm so tired. It's coming. It's coming at you right now? Uh, well, I, I don't know much about the thing. Maybe, can you hide somewhere? In a vehicle? Behind a tree? Climb a tree? I don't think those things could probably climb. For you. It's outside. Just... Sleep deprivation. I, I don't think that really happened. That might have just been a hallucination. <sighs> We're gonna take a nap, guys. Alright. Let's go try to refine this signal a little bit more. We've got, this is the object that we found in space, guys. Unknown object, no idea what this is. Let's see how it goes. Let me get a thing. We gotta refine this. Dice cubes, you... Hello? Hello, fellow human person Randy. Who is this? Who is this? I was wondering how you know so much about non-Earth space beings? <laughs> well, I've just done a lot of research. A lot of research read a lot of blog posts from a very bunch of really smart scientists and other individuals who aren't quite as uh, scientists as the, as the as the aforementioned why do you ask what are, are you sure we're both human where do you get your information from human randy who is talking to you i don't think i have to answer to you are you a moose Sorry, I'm getting paranoid. Where are you from, caller? So you were both here on Earth? I don't think you'd mind telling me that much. Can you provide your current location on the planet you reside in? I would like to know for recreational purposes. Yeah, um... Yeah, Google, Google search Area 51, and why don't you swing on down by there? They should be able to help you out. Yeah, something's fishy about this guy. I'm not entirely sure this... Guys, I think this... See you soon. I need to stop giving my number out. I put... You know, I put my number on any blog that, uh... That has discussion about aliens. And you know what? I, I knew it was a matter of time before the Greys found me. Who's that? Five entities found? It's moving. Ladies and gentlemen, there's something here. 
and it's big. Wait, I need to stop the pinging. Stop the pinging. Uh, what do I? SV dot target reset. This thing is to the uh, northwest. Northwest, moving which way? It's just hovering northwest. This way. We've got to get out there. I got to see what this is. Guys, I don't think it's the moose. The moose couldn't possibly be moving that quick. Nothing. The thing was moving fast. Could be gone by now. Damn pine cones. Maybe we tracked a pine cone. Maybe it was just a tumbling pine cone. Oh. Guys, we've got a caller. Maybe someone with some sort of a uh, question about a cryptid that I might be able to help him out with. You've got Randy, Mr. Hazado. Any questions or inquiries you might have about the wonderful Hello. world of cryptids? Is this cryptid survival? Well, we've got many hotlines. Uh, yes, that is one of the uh, hotlines that I run, Cryptid Survival. Think I got one of them Ohio Yeti after me. Oh, brother. Where to start with the Ohio Yeti? You know, adapted to live in the cornfields instead of mountains. Yeah, I've heard of that variant. The damn beast. They're a resilient bunch that live off corn. But because of that, they uh, they don't have quite the same structure as, a, as a, one of the... Uh, mountain living variants still dangerous though very dangerous let's see do you happen to own a 50 caliber rifle i got some bird shot bird shot maybe if you aim for strictly his eyeballs that could do a bit of damage i think you might be able to get a good chunk off of him hey listen you want to hear the signal that we that i found hold up i'm smelling popcorn is that normal are you by chance uh prone to having what is it called, guys? Seizures? No, sir. Fit as a fiddle. If you're smelling pop... The Ohio Yeti! Oh my god. Wait a minute. I've heard tale of a popcorn-like scent that emanates of, uh, off of them on account of all the corn they eat. I would advise you to run. I'm hiding in the loft. The smell is getting stronger. We've got, apparently, a few folks near Ohio. We might be able to send the, the uh... The cavalry in. You think you could hold out for a day or two? I'm sure they'll have to pack an overnight bag and then, you know, who knows how it busy the hikes. The birdshot just popped its corn shell. I don't think I'm going to make it. Tell my family that corn wasn't worth farming. I'll try to get in contact with your family. Damn it. Damn it. Guys, I don't think I'm gonna recover from this one. This is gonna haunt me for a long time. Oh, we've got another caller. Let's see who we've got here. You've got Randy. How are you this fine afternoon or evening or whatever time it is? I haven't seen the sun in days. Oh, hey, Randy, I'm doing fine. Oh, that's good to hear. So are you hiding from someone? What are you whispering? You got any questions for old Randy? While I crack open this box, sorry about the noise. Mmm, <sighs> hope you don't mind me smacking your ear. Oh, there's a gray man or creature out in the street right now. I'll be damned if you can get a picture and send what that do to I me. Do? Well, first I would advise finding finding a camera or cell phone and trying to take a picture of it as quickly as you possibly can because I could sell that. Where I. It could go on my blog and people could learn a lot of things about it. But second of all, after you get the photo and, and email it to Randy's blog at uh, gmail.com, you can, uh, I would like my phone. Yeah, please hurry before it disappears. I really would love to see this thing. Um, but yeah, after you get the photo, make sure the flash is not on. Um, I would recommend hiding. Okay, I grabbed my camera phone. Okay, now take the photo and upload it to Discord and tag me. The great guy is gone. Thank you for your call, Thor Ranger. I uh, hope you have a good evening. Wait, my front door is open. 
Is this, uh, did you leave it open, or is this maybe related to the gray? There's sounds in my kitchen. Con. Kitchen. <laughs> can, you, can you sneak a peek? Be very quiet. I'm glad you're already whispering. Be very quiet and tell me what you see in the kitchen. Con. It's eating my nachos. Oh my lord. Can you get a picture? Flash off. Remember, flash off. Yeah, on it. Up to this. Wait, I smell popcorn. <gasps> the Yeti? Keep the camera at the ready. Do you hear me? It's not alone. Please snap a photo of this thing. Without getting caught, I don't want to hear you brutally die. Okay, until loading it now to truth.crypto.net.com. Okay. Uploading. Uploading it? Okay. Guys, we could have we could have proof right now. Viewers at home. This could be it. This could be a legendary day. You're doing the Lord's work, Thor Ranger. Thor Rengar. Thor Ranger. Right, let me get this. Let me get this photo up. Oh. Thor Ranger. It's done. Tell my family I did it for the truth. He hung up. Guys. Here's the photo they uploaded. Um. I kind of don't even know if you can see it on this screen. Let me make it a little bit bigger. This is coming through. Anybody, uh... You said turn the flash off? I didn't know it was pitch black in their house. I didn't want to alert the... Can we get somebody who knows how to do digital enhancement to crank the, the brightness up on this? Yeah, I, I can't really see it. I'm being told that this is the enhanced image. This was in their kitchen? Maybe they pointed the camera outside last minute? This is haunting. Folks, I think this might be real. Why is he hot? You think humans are the only thing capable- Okay, never mind. That could be- <laughs> That could be very twisted. Out of context. I am so glad that I caught myself, dude. You've got Randy. Who am I speaking with? Hey, Randy. Hey, Jark. What can I help you with today? Got a cryptid question? Maybe you just want to give send five bucks to my PayPal account? You know, we've got- oh. I've been hearing rumors about a weird cryptid. Oh yeah? What kind of descripting uh, words would you say that this cryptid has relating to it? It seems to be attracted to radio waves emitted by satellites. Well, this is dangerous news to me, seeing as I've got I don't know if you know this, I've got about 13 different satellites, uh, all within close proximity to my home. Um, how would you describe its attributes other than that? Is it kind of freaky or is it one of the tame ones? Like I know a guard, like a gnome? Gnomes are pretty just average, I think. I haven't seen it myself, but I think it's pretty freaky. Well, I'll keep an eye out. Um, you know, I've, I do have a, a little bit of a bodyguard here with me, so I don't think anything's going to be approaching. I think I'm safe, if that's what you're worried about. But if you've got any satellites or radio waves near you that might be drawing this uh, cryptid's power, I do pray for you. All right, thank you, Jacques. Th thank you. Dude, hope you have a good rest of your day. Guys, I can't, I don't know how to pronounce the name. Randy speaking. What calls you in this evening? Hey, Randy! My ex-wife loved your show! Well, that's good to hear. A lot of people love my show, and you know what? And it tickles me to my core. Uh, what caused the breakup? That's too personal. I shouldn't ask that. You got any cryptid, uh... <laughs> I don't know why I asked that. I'm sorry. I'm just... Guys, I'm not great at small talk. I just sit up here in my radio tower by myself all the time. I might be maybe cryptid themed uh, advice I can give. Maybe I could give you some relationship advice since you maybe blew well, it. Well, that is personal, but yeah. I've got a scary one for your Randy. 
What is it? Let's hear it. In Delta. When I was a small child, I watched the chupacabra suck the blood out of my little brother. Oh, man. AJ, I'm just so torn up about that for you. You get a pic of it? That's insensitive. Uh, AJ, my condolences. I, uh, I'm probably gonna shed a silent tear tonight whenever I remember that you told me this. Dragged him away into the woods. Oh, AJ. I bet that's gonna haunt you for a while, huh? I'm real sorry. <laughs> I'm not laughing at you. I just saw a funny meme. Cameras weren't invented yet. When was this, the 1800s? How old are you, AJ? That's personal Randy. AJ, I'm sorry. I really feel like I'm, I'm blowing this phone call here. What, anything else you want to share about your dead brother who was torn to shreds and, and died a very painful and slow death in the woods? I did it again, didn't I? Do you I? think you can find my brother? Well, I can give it a shot. Um, is he somewhere in space right now? Because I'm real good at finding uh, things out there. He may still be alive. Uh, I'll keep a lookout. Did you happen to live in uh, near my property? I live in New Mexico. Is that close? Um, well, not quite. This is we. we I, I live pretty far from there. Uh, but maybe, who knows, maybe the little chupacabra dragged his, uh, little ugly body all the way up into my woods. And if he did, well, I will, uh, keep an eye out. You know, I'll let you, I'll call you right back if I happen to see him. Ah, <laughs> uh, there I go again. Man, I'm sorry, guys. I'm not trying to be insensitive here. I just... Thank you, Randy. You're a kind soul. Thank you, AJ. Have a good one. Guys, I'm blown. I just blown it. I gotta read some books about how to be nicer. Let's listen to this cool signal I found just now. Um, another bad one. We're gonna have to refine that. You've got Randy. Do you have any uh, cryptid sightings or questions you might want answered? Pizza. This is not. Uh, uh. You want to drink with that? Sorry for the noise. These pizzas are kicking my ass. Yeah, I take a large dew. Large dew and a pepperoni pie. Anything else? Yeah, I got this coupon for a few dew. Uh, a few do or a free do? Free, sorry. No, it's fine. Uh, yeah, you will cash that in. You know what? We'll send the do for free. And, uh, we have a offer right now. You buy a one large pepperoni pie and we'll include a uh, medium cheese for free. If you want to if you want want to take that on. Sounds good. Do you take Ethereum? No, we delve mostly into the cash, uh, denomination. Denomination? Is that religion? Uh, currency. Yeah, I'll take 30 bucks for all the all the pies and you can send it my way if that sounds like a good deal. But nowadays cash is trash. You know, I have heard that being said. Uh, however, I don't have, you know, my... Sorry, I'm jumpy. It's these pies. They've got me on edge. Uh, you know what? Yeah, you can send it straight to my crypto wallet. The, the key is, guys, I could read it out over the phone, but it's just going to be so long. I really would prefer a cash money order or a check. Well, I guess it'll take my business elsewhere. No, please, you, you... Fuck. Guys, I was trying to... Listen, there was no pizza. I was trying to make a couple extra bucks. 